have you been driving? 39 years. Get out of here. You're not even old enough to be driving 39 years. I started when I was 15. Wow, wow. And so we're here at Chrome Supply. Again, seeing a woman in a chrome shop is not an everyday occurrence for me, even though I think it's really cool. How long have you been coming in here? Um, yeah, I'm okay. addicted to, I don't know, more chrome or to bread. Oh, okay, <laughs> we'll leave that alone. <laughs> we'll leave that alone. So, what you don't have to tell us what you haul, but what kind of like, what's your day look like uh, on the road or whatever? Um, I load out of print and I'm, uh, I got pulp. Right. Um, it's like liquid molasses. Yeah. Um, I don't run baffles or anything else, so it gets lost around pretty good. Um, I'm one of the U.S. runners. Okay. So I'm dedicated to the customer. I'm their lead driver. Right. So I do all, um, like, the Thomasville PA, the mass case. Okay. Like all right. Okay. And uh, are you, is this, are you an owner-operator? Dedicated? No. no. I'm company. Oh. So a spoiled, rotten company driver. Oh, they're good, aren't they? They're the kind, they're the best kind, I find. Yeah. What What's the secret? Tell For women on the road, what's a, what's a tip for women? Because we we're trying to get more women in the industry. I think they make great drivers. And you seem to have this down to a science for 39 years. What's a um, tip for those new people coming in? I just, I don't like somebody over my shoulder doing this all the time, right? right? right. So this gives me my freedom, right? Yeah. I see the country, I, I make good friends out on the road with yeah. all my customers. You know, I like to drive, right? I have yeah. the, the need, I have to learn how to drive everything. Like, yeah. you know, there's, I, I'm TTSAO. Okay. So I hold every class of license and I can, I can train every class of okay. license. I even learned how to fly a plane. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're doing everything, right? Yeah, I, just, I have the need for it, right? Oh, okay. Just, my dad, I've got four sisters, and I was my dad. I'm the fifth one. My dad always called me his son. Oh, okay. Right? So I just, he drove too, and we just take over. Like, he passed away a couple years ago. I have a memorial of yeah, him on yeah, the back I saw of my that. truck. Yeah, and yeah. He got a pillow of his shirt inside, and we still truck together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So tell, tell us about your truck. I don't know. Is there anything special you want to tell us about the truck? What year is it? You it's know? It's 2018. 2018. Pretty my little baby. Yeah, little baby. Yeah, I was the second driver with it. Okay. Um, and the driver took the area good care of it. Right. wanted a new one, so it got passed to me. And yeah. My boss just lets me go gun ho and put all the chrome lights I want oh, on nice, it. Oh, nice, nice. And what I don't put on it, then Brett says, oh, you need this. Yeah, he, need this. he's good at suggesting. <laughs> yeah, he's suggesting, but he's, he just, he does so much for me, right? Yeah. Like, he, he gives me so much, like... He's probably one of my biggest supporters out here. Like yeah. Just to, and I do the same thing, right? Yeah. Like I, I support him, and I put the all his mud flaps with his names on them, a lot yeah. of his clothes with all his name on it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like he rub my back, I rub yours. Yeah, good just, for you. Yeah. But good him and his, his sister, like they are the best people. Yeah, yeah. I know. They're, I've I've known him for a long time, so yeah, yeah it's been a yeah. it's been, it's been a great just for their hugs, right? Like yeah, well, that's why I was here. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen her in a long time, so it's nice to see her again. Yeah. All right, so it sounds like women on the road and Contrans a good company to work for. Um, I am 100% Contrans. Yeah. I couldn't see myself going anywhere else. Yeah. They when I when they first switched over when they we used to Glen Tay when they bought over, they had told me family comes first. Yeah. And you hear that at so many cu yeah. customers. And my dad ended up getting sick. Yeah. And they treated me like gold. Wow. Like they sent me home. They're like, why are you still here? Go take care of your dad. And that was yeah. nine months taking care of my dad. Wow. Didn't lose my truck, you know, and they sent me down to Chatham with my truck. And I only yeah. worked it whenever I could. Yeah. And then, you know, I just got, I broke some ribs there this winter. Oh, wow. I got hurt. And they took care of me. Lost my mom. Got wow. COVID. They took care of me the whole time. Like, wow. They... They, they, they mean it when they yeah. say they're 100% family first, right? Wow. And they're my family, right? Wow. There's nothing I wouldn't do for them. Good so stuff. They treat me well. They've given me a dedicated trailer. They yeah. tell me no for stuff, but I do it anyway. Yeah. They just <laughs> shake their head at me, but, you know, they know it's all good. I'm not going to do anything that's going to get us tickets right. or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Well, they, they good, treat me very well. Good for you. Well, keep keep up the industry. We need more of you. We need, <laughs> more, we need more females more and, and female. male drivers at our company, company yeah. too. Like, you know? We need people with the passion. That's what I'm seeing. That's you know, right. we, we, we got a lot of people coming into the industry, but they don't have the passion for this industry. Anymore, right? We need the passion. This is why I love to see. This is why I can hang out here in a yeah. parking lot all day and be happy. <laughs> and that's my boss, right? Like, yeah. and, and Brett. People that have passion, they encourage it, right? Yeah. And then... They do more for you, right? If yeah. you're just going to be, no offense, a steering wheel holder, yeah. then you're not going to go anywhere in life, right? right? Yeah, but yeah. if you take care of your truck and you've got the drive to get out there and make yeah. money and, you know, take pride in what you yeah. do, right? It doesn't matter if you're a garbage man or working at McDonald's, take pride in your job, yeah. right? That's the big thing. Nobody has pride anymore. Nobody is dedicated and it's just... Wow, it's amazing. You're the second woman I've seen in here this afternoon talking trucks. I think it's awesome. I love so my keep baby up the girl. keep up the good work <laughs> and thanks very much for talking with us. Thank you.